What is going on guys? Josh here. Wanted to uh, get on here for a few minutes and uh, I wanted to redo my video from yesterday. Um, I didn't know if it was really recording uh, full screen and some of the stuff after me watching it really didn't explain how I did my 12 valve Cummins, the, uh, the killer dial pin and I done the uh, head gasket repair. I was showing y'all a couple of, a few of the tools that I have used and what you can get and some money you can save doing it. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all a couple of things here and I hope it should show you in the screen. I'm gonna show you. Anyway, uh, this here is the Snap-on GA535, the straight edge. It's a 35 inch uh, straight edge from Snap-on. Um, it's a good product. There's a lot of people that make these, so I know you can find other companies also that have them for probably cheaper because that one's a little over a hundred bucks, I think. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all a couple of different things here because I didn't know when I started doing this and I probably spent a little more money than I had to. And um, yeah, so I just wanna show y'all a couple of things here that can save you money if you want to. This here. The blue point, um, it's the fuel injector hose where you can clean it out and everything. This here, it'll clean down an injector hose when you pull the injectors, you get all that crud. Well, these you have to, all, you're always on back order and you have to, um, once, you, once you order about 25, 30 bucks, but go to Home Depot and you can get these. These here. Um, they're a three quarter and a half inch for a couple of bucks. So that is a big thing. And they honestly, they done just the same as this snap on one. Um, I actually, I used them and didn't even use the snap on cause I didn't have it. Also a couple of things you'll need. Um, I have the M12 1.75, the thread chaser. That's what I use to clean the, uh, head uh, stud hose. Um, I use them to, uh, when I put my exotic performance head studs in, I chased them to make sure they were clean. And these are actually a cleaner. A lot of people want to argue and say they're a tap, but they're actually a thread cleaner. I mean, yeah, they look like a tap and all, but they're not supposed to cut thread. It's supposed to clean it. Also, the M8, the 1.25, it is good to clean the rocker pedestal um, ho, and I'll tell y'all a little thing that I done. Um, I use a lot of this, this ARP. I used it actually, I, I used it on my exotic performance head studs. I used it also because I really, I, I just like to make sure it's really lubed up. Also, when I put everything together, you don't want to dry start. This is good stuff here. Permatex Mage it, Orchard Slick. But really what I like using, and you can get this at your O'Reilly's, this here. That is great stuff to use. It stays there and it don't come off. You want to put something on those uh, push rods. I put it on them and I put it on the uh, rocker pedestals. I mean, I had it all over it. I mean, to me, it wasn't going to hurt anything and I was going to change the oil anyway. So it really didn't matter. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure y'all hear them dogs there across the road, my neighbors. And pulling the injectors on the 12 valve. You can do it without this tool, but this makes it a whole lot easier. And this tool here, uh, it actually comes with the different size nuts for the 12 and 24 valve. It's a CIP030, if y'all want to see that that was a must-have for me um also gauges filler gauges you're gonna want these when you go to have to adjust the valves i like this one I, but i had to have both both of them served a purpose on doing it you can pick them up at your local parts store uh what else am i missing here um and oh the head gasket kit i went with a the Mal or Mal Victor Ryan standard. Um, I'm gonna pick this up and show you. Let me flip the camera. The head gasket there. 
that's the one I went with. I, and this is the old gasket. You can, you can see how bad that was. Check it out. That was pretty bad. It was, it was going to blow before long. It was, had an external leak. So I'm glad I changed that out before it did blow. But um, I want to say diesel power, if I'm not mistaken, they had the whole upper kit for around 100 bucks. Had it shipped to me for around 120 So it came with every gasket that I needed. Um, and I actually, I picked up a local, at my local parts store, O'Reilly's, I got the turbo gasket kit, and it came with a bunch of extra parts too, like it did. Just to have it for backup in case one of the gaskets was messed up, I made sure I had that. But what you don't want to do when you do these this cleaning on this truck, don't use Scotch Brite. Uh, Scotch Brite, it'll get down in your coolant and your oil and stuff, and I've heard it can wreak habit and tear up your bearings. I don't know 100%, but that's just what I was told by a lot of guys, so I didn't use it. It took me a little more time, but I used a razor blade and, you know, non-flammable brake cleaner, and it got all of it off. Um, but uh, other than that, we used, oh, another thing, I'm going to go grab it really quick. I want to show y'all to, you know, re-talk about this a little more. Grab a couple of these little parts here. We'll set them all down and we'll talk about each one of them okay a barring tool you'll i wouldn't say you don't have to have it but you can turn your engine over by the harmonic balancer bolts but that is a pain these here you can get them off ebay this one lasted five minutes you can see the third uh the three it just chewed them up i was worried about my flywheel being gone what I suggest is you can get one from Blue Point, this one here, and it spins and it's actually, you could take apart, this one can be repaired and grease, however you need it to do. This one is the one to go with, but it's about a hundred bucks for this one, 80 to a hundred dollars. This one is around 20 bucks, no good. To be honest with you, I wanted to do this video. They gave me my money back because I was just saying, hey, something's not right with this. Y'all need to check into it. But this don't spin. There's no way for it to spin, so it's just it binds up. This is no good. Uh, so watch that on eBay. But I will show you what is good. Now, this one, did, it did come from overseas also. There is a lot of stuff people selling here in America that are good. For example, this here. Pull it out of a little box here. Okay, this comes with the nuts and this here. I got this off of eBay. I think I gave 30 bucks for it. You can find them online, they're over 130. Um, that's the part number there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's the wear front. When I done my killer dial pin, the wear sleeve this was the installation kit. That's what, you know, you need that to do that. That's about 25, 30 bucks on there. Also, I don't want to make this video super long. This here, Thoroughbred Diesel sells these. They're about a hundred and something bucks. I got this one off of eBay. It's the death tool to put on the front crank seal. That is great, great to have. This was an awesome tool. It done its job. I think it was like 20 something bucks. So, these tools here, they're great to have, and you can catch them on eBay for both of these under $60. Um, what I want to talk about also is these. Um, these are made, I got these off of eBay, and they're for around 40 bucks or so. It is the 3 and 4K Governor Springs. We've used these before. They're a great product. You don't have to go spend a hundred and something dollars on some governor springs. These are great. And last but not least, let me see. This here, it is the torque overflow valve, fuel overflow valve. 
I wouldn't run in probably six pounds of fuel pressure when I installed my uh, glow shift gauge. And I knew something was wrong, so Cutter Up Rob said, hey, check your spring in there, see if maybe something's going on. And I took it apart and the spring was broke, so I put the ink pen spring in it and it actually is running about 40, 45 pounds, working great. So I haven't installed this yet, but I will be installing it and I will be doing a video on the install. So that's a good product there. Also, I'm gonna switch this around here and let y'all see it. See if we can get this open. Um, this here, this fleece performance. Um, it's going on the 12 hours to fleece performance coolant bypass. I will be installing it and doing a video on the install for the 12 valve Cummins because I can't find anywhere a video actually showing the installation on that 12 valve. I can see it out of the truck, but I haven't seen it in the truck. So if I'm missing that somewhere, guys, let me know. And uh, if any of y'all wanted the CDP decals, the stickers that I had got made, let me know. I will send them out free of charge to you. I just wanna grow this channel spread the word i will be giving those exotic performance head studs away to one of you lucky people out there um i just want to grow it and when we hit a certain number of subscribers i'm gonna give them away like share subscribe to my page and we'll talk to y'all soon